Okay, so that's uh, a good few hours sanding later. Um, and we've got all of that grain filler off. And I'll just bring you in for a bit of a closer shot so we can see how we've done on that. So as we can see there, adding that grain filler has brought a bit of contrast to this timber and really kind of made the grain pop really nicely. So very happy with that. So with the body at this stage now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off all of this masking. Um, there'll be a little bit of cleaning up to do around the edge where the binding joins. Um, and then we can start to think about getting the top ready um, and cracking on with the finishing process. Okay, with that unmasked, you can probably see there's a little bit of a dark line around the binding. And that's simply where the masking tape has stopped me from sanding close to the binding. So what I'm going to do now is just set this up and very gently sand that away. Again, trying to keep away from the edge of the binding while I do it. And then just by way of a final clean up pass on this binding, I'm just going to very gently scrape into it with a sharp utility knife blade. Okay, so with that all properly cleaned up, um, we can turn our attentions to getting the top ready for finish. Um, there's a number of jobs that I need to do on the top. Um, I still need to drill a couple of holes um, for pickup wires, switch wires, etc., to go through. So now is a really good time to do that. I need to just refine the shape of these F holes in some places, um, especially around these little curly end bits. Uh, they're not particularly smooth at the moment so we'll address that we need to finish off sanding the top down to a suitable grit to make that nice and smooth but what i'm also going to do at this stage before i go any further is just do a little bit of a trial fit out on the body so anything that might need a hole drilling to fit it we'll have that done at this stage so i'm going to trial fit the bridge and i'm going to fit the pickup ring make sure that that all works nicely before I go any further.
So now that I've fitted those last few pieces to the body, um, there's no more holes that will need to be drilled, um, which is great. The reason I've done it at this stage is A, because there's just so much less risk of damaging the finish if all the holes are already drilled. Um, but also, I'm going to take these off now, strip the body back, and I'm just going to run a small countersink into all of those holes I've just done. And the reason I'll do that is it will soften those edges and mean that I'll be able to get a much better film of finish over them. So when I come to rub down, etc., there's much less chance of me breaking through the finish. So I'm just working my way around these F-holes now with a variety of tools, um, a couple of little files, um, flat file there, little rat tail, um, and also I've just made a tool up, don't know how closely you can see that, but it's a little piece of maple that I've put a radius on and then just attached a piece of 240 wet and dry paper to it. And I'm just working my way around these F-holes now, just smoothing out all the little curves and edges on them. It's not really that bad a job, um, just takes a little bit of time, but it's one of those things that if they're not right, it will stand out a mile, um, so need a little bit of time on these. Okay, so I've just spent a good long time going around these edges um, and they're a lot better now, uh, much, much closer to where I want them. Um, so the final stage in this is I'm just going to go around all of the edges of the F-holes um, with little files, sandpaper, etc. and just put a little bit of a chamfer onto there, which will, I'll sand into a radius. The um, reason I'm doing that is it will just help get a good finish onto those. If I leave it a sharp edge, the finish is going to be really, really thin on that corner and probably rub through when I'm cleaning it up. So I'll put a chamfer on, put a radius on and it will be lovely. The final job I'm going to do is just these little points. I'm actually going to chamfer those away so that they will be below the surface of the top ever so slightly and it will just mean that you won't be catching your clothing and stuff on those when you're playing. Just gives the instrument a slightly more luxurious feel.
So that's all the F holes nicely cleaned up. Um, I've also just been round and given the, the top a bit of a spruce up with some um, 320 grit just to get the, the muck and the pencil lines and everything off. Um, and this is pretty much ready to go for finish now. Um, the last little job I've got to do is I just need to take a little piece of paper and just soften soften the edge of that binding just to put a little bit of a radius on there. Again, that's going to be much nicer to the touch. And there, we're pretty much ready to go now. Um, in terms of what the finish is going to look like, um, it's going to be a burst of some sort, um, something vintage looking. So something that might once have been a cherry burst that's faded to something a lot more subtle. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what colors I'm going to use yet. I'm gonna do a few samples and a few tests and see what I come up with. But that's for next time. I'm gonna leave this one here for now. Um, but before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the people that have subscribed recently. Um, we broke the 900 subscribers barrier this weekend. So that makes me extremely happy. So thanks a lot for that. Um, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.